tried to sail back to Port Gallus long ago if it wasn't for those scout pirates. from Ophir? A long way and with dangers fraught. But in our homeland, they say, in a risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore, virgin lands discover, New knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new, to stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe, knowledge to exchange, 
and goods, naturally, to trade. What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? Quite the mount you've got. Ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Countless races we have won together. So, an explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride, and not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. Heard a lot of good things about Ophiri mares. Their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor. So race we must. Take your mount to her. Move it. Take it easy. A fiery mares may be swift as the wind. Not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. Our contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Thanks. Like your new gear, roach? Ha! Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Our myths tell of a time. When love brought together the skies and the steppe, and from their union was born the first mare, weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them, her milk fed them. Strong they grew, and she let them saddle her. Warriors they became, and gave fight to their foes. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. Found this diagram. Think the markings might be Ophiri. Can't decipher them. Willing to help? This writing I recognize. We arrived in this land to immediate trouble. Local men, frankly rogues. Attacked we were. These are good instructions to forge fantastic gears fit for a king. To the ruler here I was to present them. But assist me. Retrieve the entire set, and I shall draft duplicates marked in the tongue of your craftsmen. Sounds like a fair deal. Think I can probably find those diagrams for you. These bandits, they knights seemed. They blow even harder. Where did it happen, this attack? 
at the crossroads. A sawmill near to it. And the ruins of a residence to the north, I believe. See what I can do. Farewell. Greetings. Greetings, and praise the world in its never-ending creation. Don't take this the wrong way, but honestly, the world doesn't deserve much praise. <sighs> Nordlings. <laughs> Disagreeable always. Faces crinkled, soured, ready to quibble to death even a simple greeting. Aha! <laughs> but my tongue now has soured, while you for trade have come. Sadly, I can forge for you nothing. My belongings, tools inclusive, all lost. You're a craftsman, or a mage. Your tongue has no word to fit my trade. A scholar and artisan I am. Part craftsman, part mage. Gematria, runecraft, familiar to you are these words? No. Runecraft seems pretty self-explanatory, though. True, though my craft further ventures. Runes and glyphs I first make, then arrange into powerful magic words. Great practical applications as my art. For rune stones properly forged in a sword set so as to form a magic word, the blade more power grant than rune stones set haphazardly. Such words, too, can of glyphs be made and set in armor. Listen, folks sometimes hire me to solve their problems, even retrieved a missing item or two in my time. For me, this you cannot do. I sailed upon a great ship. It sank and my instruments took to the sea's dark depths. Buying replacements not an option? Of my own design they were, specially forged. A fortune it cost to make them, and all the coin that with me I had brought lies now in the murky abyss with my instruments. Seems your skills could be useful to me. Given that, I'd be happy to help you out. What do you say I get you the coin you need? You could pay me back in runes and glyphs. Is it certain your offer? A great sum I require. Tools of great expense I need to make even the simplest glyph. I make no mention of the more advanced or master crafted. Rest easy. Got a feeling this will be a good investment. Got some coin on me. Is enough? Uh, start it is. Costly craft. Yet the costs do not end with coin. Need I shall also a jade stone of size substantial. Hmm. See what I can do.
find some small jade deposits northeast of Novigrad. Ought to try my luck there. Jade here. Need to keep looking.
much jade here. Need to keep looking. Get up. Take it easy.
Come on. Made good use of my coin by the look of things. The return to my craft. Know you not the pleasure it brings. I thank you. Don't mention it. How's the work going? Several lesser runes I forged already. Practice, you see. <laughs> Yet I sadden in thinking the tools and ingredients I possess are not fit to create better. Got lucky. Found you some jade. Here. Thank you, I do. If you to gaze wish at my handiwork, to do so I invite you. Brought you more coin. Put it towards better equipment? Thanks in the thousands. Too kind you are to me, truly. Your work's worth the coin. Work. Good to see. Ah, yes. Commissioned have I tools. A fitting set from Novigrad crafters. Many arms and legs they charged, but renew my work in earnest I now can. New runes, glyphs, and diagrams created I have. An eye you should cast. Find one to your liking, perchance. So, nothing holding you back now. From making master-crafted runes, you mean? Much more coin I will need to do so, sadly. Thanks. So long. Nice to see you again. Quite the pleasure. What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. <laughs>